I'm Steve Brown, Extension Cotton Agronomist, uh, Alabama Cooperative Extension, Auburn University. At this stage of uh, the latter part of July, mid to the latter part of July, we've got cotton from all, all phases and, and growth stages at this point. We've got cotton that's fairly young and probably cotton that's in the third week of bloom or so. so we've got people dealing with uh, everything from um, weed control, uh, to PGR management and to irrigation where we haven't uh, received uh, sufficient rainfall and where we've got irrigation. But overall, the crop has received uh, pretty timely rains in much of the state once we've got going. Uh, I would say as a, as the bulk of the crop at this point looks extremely good, extremely promising. Of course, we're about halfway home, a long way to go, but it looks very, very good. So. PGR management, finishing up weed control, those are the big things from an agronomic standpoint. In some cases, we're still putting out a little uh, side dress, uh, nitrogen applications, <clears throat> maybe some uh, potassium treatments just to, to shore those up. But again, the crop looks very, very good overall. PGR management, is there's a lot of uh, things that can be done with the PGR products, and there are a lot of thoughts about it. If my, my mentality is if we've got 50 people in the room, there's 75 ways to, to fix a crop. And some it, it's all influenced by, well, what do you want the crop to finish up? How, how large, how tall you want it to be? And then you've got to think about uh, current and pending weather. you got to think about fertility. Uh, what I, Most people go into the season with an idea, this is my program. And, and, and then what I think should happen from there on is, all right, given the current conditions, whether that's the calendar date, whether that's the planting date, or whether that's a, a, a weather driven, should I be more aggressive or less aggressive than my intended program? I would say on the whole this year, uh, once we got past uh, May that was extremely dry, growing conditions have been extremely good. Now we got know we got some pockets that are that are that are very dry, but those are small, those are pretty isolated pockets. Overall, cotton is growing extremely well, so I would be a little inclined to be slightly more aggressive than I might have been otherwise. Again, given my standard approach, my standard program. Other things to think about: there are all kind of products out there. Most of them do about the same thing. One thing I will say with uh, regular scattered pop-up showers. If we put a little bit of surfactant with it, we probably improve our rain fastest. We may cut rain fastest from say eight hours, six or eight hours down to four or less. So uh, it, it, given the, the climate we're seeing, I, I would almost always include a surfactant, non ion surfactant. And usually that's gonna be a quart per 100 gallons of spray solution. It, it, boron is, a, is an essential micronutrient for cotton. I, I can't say that I've seen, uh, that I can pick out boron deficiencies, but it's important and we're making yields, we're pushing yields higher and higher. So uh, we, yeah, we think boron is, is, is gonna be an important uh, uh, product to put out there. You can put it out <clears throat> in your side dress applications. You can certainly also put it out in your PGR applications. It makes a nice additive with our, with our PGR type applications. It fits in very nicely. And generally, I think we wanna make that boron application Oh, at least by the second week of bloom or thereabouts. Not 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 going fifth or sixth week. We will probably want to be a little earlier than, than, than later if we get into the bloom cycle and we haven't put out boron. Okay, foliarrhea is an important way to put on some nitrogen. If you think you might be a little short, usually you can put out about 10 pounds of product, which is going to give you just under five pounds of, of actual in. If I thought I was a little shy, I might, I would do that. And maybe if I, I might even do it over a couple of applications. I'd make two applications if I thought I needed to. I will say our, our research is pretty good saying 90 pounds is enough. And so I, I don't want to strive for real dark green cotton into September. I wanted to be on the, on the wane, on the decline in terms of color and, and general health and so forth. So I don't want to overdo it, but rarely do you see the foliar applications contribute to rank growth. So if I need to improve, or if I think I might've had some early leaching, I got some color that I'm a little concerned about. Yeah, foliar is, is a nice and, and very economical way to put out some nitrogen.